I'm so looking forward to our wedding day. I can't wait to be married to you, Wilson. You are the love of my life. You're the best thing that ever happened to me. You make me feel so happy and complete. <laughs> me too. I can't wait either. I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be the happiest day of our lives. I love you more than anything in the world. You are my soulmate and my best friend. Yes, that's right. Oh, isn't it romantic that we're having our wedding on the same day as the registration date of our marriage? It's like we're meant to be together. It's like destiny. Yes, I agree. It's very romantic. It's like fate brought us together. And I want there to be the option of exiting at the last minute. Just in case, you know. Just in case something goes wrong or I change my mind. What do you mean by that? Are you having second thoughts? Does that mean you are not sure about marrying me? Nothing. Just ignore what I said. It was a comment about our wedding plan. Totally not your concern. And I can't wait to put on my wedding gown either. I bet I'm going to look gorgeous as always. You won't be able to take your eyes off me. You'll be mesmerized by my beauty. <laughs> I'm sure that you will, babe. You're stunning. You always take my breath away. You're the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. <laughs> Hold on a second. Are you only marrying me for my looks? That better not be the only reason. I have a lot more to offer than that. I have a great personality, a brilliant mind, and a generous heart. Now, of course, it's not the only reason. I love everything about you. You make me laugh, and I'm at ease when I'm with you. You're smart, kind, and fun. You're the perfect woman for me. I'm glad to hear that. Your salary isn't the only reason why I'm marrying you, Franklin. Did you just call me Franklin? Who the hell is Franklin? Oops, sorry, wrong name. I meant to say your name, Wilson. I love other things about you too. Like your personality, your sense of humor, and your charm. You're the perfect man for me. Did you just mistake me for someone else? Isn't Franklin your ex-boyfriend's name? Really? Was it? I don't remember anymore. The guy I was dating before you... His name was Gonzo. Isn't that such a unique name? Don't you think it suits him? I guess so. But I remember very clearly about you telling me that your ex-boyfriend's name was Franklin. This is the first time I've ever heard about Gonzo. Well, it's all in the past, so you have nothing to worry about. It was a billion years ago, and I've completely forgotten about them. So you should too. You're the one that I'm marrying, Wilson. Let's not talk about my past boyfriends anymore. Let's talk about our future together. Our wonderful future. Our bright and happy future. Now I'd like to, but it kind of bums me out that you mistook me for one of your ex-boyfriends. It makes me feel insecure. I wonder if you really love me. I'm sorry about that. But don't fret about it, because it was nothing. Be a man. I fell in love with you because you're strong and manly. You're the only one for me. You know, you're the only one who can make me happy. Okay, fine. It's in the past then. And I'll stop worrying about your ex-boyfriends. So, about moving into our new house together next week. Have you packed up all your things? I feel like we haven't spent any time together at my place in a while. I miss you. Yes, I've packed my things. I haven't been able to come over to your place recently because I was getting ready for our big move. Why are you being so paranoid right now? Do you think I'm cheating on you or something? Well, I'd received a weird letter the other day. It was from someone who claimed to know you. This person claimed to have some secrets about you. A letter from who? Who would send you such a letter? What did it say? And I feel like someone's been following me around and watching my every move. It's really creeping me out. 
I'm moving out of this place soon, so I'm not worried about that. But I think it's best that you don't come over to my place anymore. I'm only going to be living here for another week, and from next week, we'll be living together, so... Okay, sure. You're right. That is creepy. Make sure you call the police if you think something bad is going on. It's a scary world, and I don't want anything to happen to you. Thanks, Olivia. I'll be careful. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow then. I love you. I love you too. See you tomorrow. Bye. What the hell are you doing with my girlfriend? How dare you steal her away from me? You have no right to interfere with our relationship. You have no idea how much we love each other. You're a thief and a liar. Who the hell is this? How did you get my number? And what are you talking about? I don't know who you are and it's creeping me out. Stop messaging me. You're making no sense. It doesn't matter who I am. What matters is that you break up with the girl that you're seeing right now. She belongs to me. She's mine and only mine. You can't have her. Don't you dare take her away from me. Leave my beloved girlfriend alone. And where is this coming from? I don't know who you are. And it's freaking me out. If you continue to talk like that, I will block you. You're being irrational and unreasonable. Olivia belongs to me. She loves me. She always has and always will. She's the only one for me. Wait, are you the one who's been following me around these days and sending me those letters? Tell me your name. Who are you? Are you the one that's been stalking me and harassing me? Why should I tell you my name? I'm asking you to stay away from Olivia. She's not yours to have. She is mine. Olivia is my girlfriend. Are you Franklin by any chance? You used to date Olivia, right? Is that why you're so obsessed with her? Are you the one that can't let go of her? You can't accept that she's moved on, right? That's why you're messaging me like that? Used to? What do you mean by that? Olivia and I never broke up. She told me that you're forcing her to marry you. She doesn't want to though because she's in love with me. She's only pretending to be with you. She's just playing along with your scheme. Are you stalking Olivia? She told me that you guys broke up a long time ago. This has nothing to do with me. You shouldn't be messaging me like this. It's not my fault that Olivia chose to marry me and not you. You need to get over her. She's moved on and so should you. You need to respect her decision and leave her alone. That's not true, you stupid. She's only marrying you for your money. She doesn't love you. The person she loves is me and only me. She told me that herself. She's only using you. And when she finds the right time, she will leave you. Did Olivia tell you that? You shouldn't be spreading malicious lies just because you're upset about the fact that Olivia dumped you. Please, stop harassing me like this. I've never done anything bad to you. Olivia and I are going to get married, and that's that. You can't stop us and ruin our happiness. I know that you two are getting married, but that doesn't mean that Olivia and I will stop seeing each other. We're still in love. You can't deny the truth that we're a couple. What? On paper, you'll be Olivia's husband, but I'm still the love of her life. You'll never have her heart. I don't understand what you're saying. It doesn't make any sense. I am sure that Olivia wants nothing to do with you. You need to leave us alone. You're delusional. You're living in a fantasy world. I think you're the one that doesn't get it. You're totally clueless. Olivia and I were together last night as well. We whispered sweet nothings to each other. We told each other how much we love each other. What the hell? 
I'm really sorry about what happened with my ex-boyfriend. I had no idea that he still had such strong feelings for me after we broke up. I hope that he didn't hurt you too badly when he punched you in the face. What do you want me to say, Olivia? I can't believe that we were having this conversation on our wedding day. He punched me in the face on the day of my wedding. He's crazy. He's not going to let me forget about this because my swollen face is going to be all over our wedding photos. How do you think that makes me feel? I'm sure that Franklin got all his anger out of his system now. He won't be bothering us anymore. He probably regrets what he did and feels ashamed of himself. How can you be so optimistic about this situation? This isn't even close to being over yet. I'm really pissed off about what Franklin did to me. I'm not going to forgive him for it. He ruined our wedding day. He ruined our relationship. Just let it go, Wilson. It's not worth it. Let's enjoy our wedding. Let's not let this ruin the day that we've both been looking forward to. I'm sure that Franklin feels bad about punching you. He's just a jealous ex-boyfriend who can't accept that I've moved on with you. I highly doubt that he feels bad. He seemed pretty happy about what he did. Why are you taking his side anyway? Are you still in love with him? I'm not taking his side. I just don't want to see the two of you fighting on our wedding day. You don't need to fight over me. I'm marrying you, Wilson. You have nothing to worry about. I love you. I'm not fighting. Franklin's the one that started the fight. He's the one that punched me in the face. I'm completely innocent. I didn't do anything wrong. I guess he got carried away. He still loves me. It seems it's not his fault. He's just a victim of his emotions. How can you say that? You're crazy. He's not a victim. He's a jerk. He's a violent jerk who doesn't respect you or me. Let's forget this ever happened. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Now let's get ready for our wedding. I want to make this a fun day. Just forget him and celebrate our love. You don't get it, Olivia. There's no way that we're going ahead with this wedding. I don't want to go out in front of our guests looking like this. And it doesn't make sense that Franklin still has such strong feelings for you. How long have you been lying to me? What? What are you talking about? I mean, you seem to be totally taking Franklin's side here. I'm starting to think that you still have feelings for him too. Maybe you're still seeing him behind my back. I doubt that you ever really loved me. Ugh, you're so stubborn. I am not taking his side. How many times do I have to tell you that? But if you look at it from Franklin's perspective, you did kind of steal me away from him, right? We were together for a long time before I met you. He probably feels betrayed by me. I don't think so. You told me that you had broken up with Franklin when we met. I had no idea that Franklin was still in the picture. You tricked me into believing that wasn't the case. You lied to me. Whatever. Who cares about the small details, right? But now Franklin is trying to get over me. Isn't that enough? Can't you just be happy for him? What do you mean by enough? I can't believe that you're letting your ex-boyfriend ruin our wedding. This is your fault too. You should have told him to stay away from us. You should have told me the truth. I had the wedding staff tell our guests that our wedding has been called off. How could you do that without consulting me first? We've been planning this day for months. You're crazy. Do you realize that you're overreacting? You're the one that's crazy, not me. What do you mean by that? Did you think that I wouldn't get mad about this? Because I'm usually a nice guy? I'm glad that I called off that wedding. I don't want to marry you anymore. I'm not going to put up with your crap any longer. I've had enough. But you didn't have to cancel the wedding. I was really looking forward to this day. And I'm going to sue Franklin for what he did to me. I had no idea that you were having an affair with him this entire time. And I'm glad I found out what kind of woman you really are before making the mistake of marrying you. An affair? What are you talking about? Ugh, don't try to play innocent. I know that you were seeing Franklin behind my back. That's why he was so mad about us getting married. I was an idiot for trusting you. 
I'm not going to be making the same mistake of being fooled by you anymore. You're not making any sense, Wilson. Things between Franklin and I are over. I'm not seeing him or having an affair with him. You're just being paranoid. Are you sure about that? Franklin sent me a recent photo of the two of you spending time at his place. The photo was real, and I know now that he was telling me the truth. He exposed your lies and your betrayal. Huh? Why would Franklin do such a thing? I thought that he wanted me to be happy. He said to me that he respected our relationship. I didn't want to believe it at first. But you only chose to marry me for my money. When Franklin told me it was true, I was shocked and hurt. You're the one that has been lying to me the entire time. I know the two of you were planning to continue seeing each other even after we got married. I don't want to hear any of your excuses. You've broken my trust. And my heart. Wait, you've got it all wrong. I didn't mean to hurt you like this. You have to believe me. Franklin's lying to you. He's trying to sabotage our wedding. You know, he's jealous of our love. That's why he's trying to get you to break up with me. I know the truth. You can't lie your way out. Besides, I saw you. What did you see? I saw you going over to Franklin's place. I followed you there a couple of times to make sure that what Franklin told me was true. I saw you kissing him and hugging him. I saw you laughing and smiling with him. I saw you cheating on me with him. Why didn't you say something to me when you found out then? It's not what it looks like. I can explain. Whatever. I don't care anymore. You know that it's too late to fix our relationship. It's over between us, so why don't you come clean? Okay, fine. I admit Franklin and I have been seeing each other from time to time, but it's not my fault. It's your fault. Huh? What the? I was lonely because you were always so busy with work to come see me. You never had time for me. All you care about is your work and you never paid attention to me. The thing with Franklin was temporary. I was planning to break up with him as soon as we got married. It's not as bad as you thought, right? I still love you. I'm sorry, but I realized that things were over between us the minute that I found out you were cheating on me with Franklin. Why are you so naive that you thought I would actually forgive you for this? There's no way I'm going to forgive you. And I'm not going to marry you either. I want you to pick up all the stuff that you have in my place. But I just finished moving in. Are you kicking me out? I am. I don't want to live under the same roof as you. I don't want to see your face ever again. There is nothing I want to do with you. Where am I supposed to live? I gave up my old apartment already. I don't have anywhere else to go. Why don't you just stay with Franklin then? I'm sure that he'd be happy to have you. I mean, I know that you enjoy being with Franklin more than me. I mean, that's why you kept on making excuses for him and taking his side. I'm the unlucky one. I got cheated on and then your stupid boyfriend punched me in the face on my wedding day. I'm sorry if I hurt you. I didn't mean to take Franklin's side. I was just trying to calm him down. Don't you see that I was just trying to prevent a bigger scene? I'm sick and tired of listening to your lies and excuses. By the way, I notified the police about Franklin punching me in the face, so he's probably going to get arrested, which means you'll have to wait until he gets released. What? You reported this to the police? Did you have to go and do that? I thought that we agreed not to make a big deal out of this. Did we agree to let it go? You decided that, not me. You didn't ask me for my opinion. You didn't care about my feelings at all. What Franklin did was a crime, and he needs to pay for it. I'm the victim here. I'm the one that suffered physical and emotional pain. Why are you trying to make Franklin look like a monster? He's not a bad person. He's just confused. Well, it's the truth, so deal with it. There's no point in us talking about this anymore. You are going to regret the fact that you chose a violent man over me. I already regret the fact that I wasted my time on a woman who was two-timing me. 
I'm so glad that I was able to cancel our wedding. I hope you have a nice life with Franklin. This totally blows. I was about to get married to you, and now I've lost everything. I've lost you. And our future? I can't believe that. I knew that something was going on the minute you called me Franklin by mistake. But I had no idea that it would end up with me getting sucker punched in the face. I'm glad that I didn't end up marrying the wrong woman for me, though. I'm glad that I dodged a bullet. Wait, don't leave me, Wilson. I thought that you loved me. You can't just cancel our wedding and bolt. What will my parents think of me? They're going to be so disappointed and angry. They will think that I'm a failure. Who knows? They might want to cut you off, but it's not my problem. Deal with it on your own. I mean, you made this mess. You're the one that cheated on me with your ex-boyfriend. You lied to me and betrayed me. What will my friends think as well? This is so embarrassing. They're all here to witness our wedding. If the marriage can't continue, they will think that I'm a horrible person. And after that, they will gossip about me and judge me. Then how about you marry Franklin today? You're more than welcome to use the venue. I really don't care anymore. I do expect you to pay me alimony and cover the cost of our cancelled wedding though. That's the least that you could do after everything you've put me through. You owe me a lot of money and an apology. Are you being serious right now? I don't have that kind of money. Let's just get married as planned. That's the best thing to do here. I can't imagine my life without you. I'm not going to break up with you ever. I love you more than anything. Please, don't do this to me. Shut up, Olivia. You don't have a say in this. I've already made up my mind. I want nothing to do with you anymore. Now leave me alone. Go and tell your parents that our wedding's been cancelled. If you don't pack up your things and move out, then I'll just throw everything out. Enjoy the rest of your life with Franklin the criminal. Olivia had to let her parents know that her marriage and wedding to me had been cancelled. When they found out the reason why this happened, they were furious and disgusted. They cut Olivia off from their family and their money. They told her that she had brought shame and dishonor to them. They never wanted to see her again. As for Franklin, he had committed other crimes in the past and was arrested. He had no remorse for what he did to me or Olivia. He had no intention of staying with Olivia or helping her out. Olivia lost everything. Me, her family, her job, and a place to live. She had no one to support her or comfort her. She regrets her poor choices, but that doesn't mean anything anymore. She had to work hard to pay back the money that she owed to me. She had to take on multiple low-paying jobs and live in a cheap and dirty apartment. She asked me to take her back several times, but I had no intention of doing so. I had moved on with my life and found someone else. Someone who was loyal, honest, and caring. I had no feelings for Olivia anymore. I eventually cut her out of my life and moved to a different town, so that she couldn't get in touch with me anymore. I also changed my phone number, blocked her on social media, and deleted all her messages. I erased her from my memory and my heart. It was very wise to break up with Olivia, 